It seems like every phone nowadays is looking to have it all. The tasks create the perfect companion full of use that still fits comfortably in our pockets. LG's latest, the LG G4, while it introduces a new design, one of its most talked about features is its massive camera. So I'm putting it to the test against one of the most popular phones out in the market, the iPhone 6. The specs, the shots, and the verdict in this new episode of Versus. Take a look at the LG G4 and you'll see a 16 megapixel camera on the back of the device. That's 5,312 by 2,988 pixels. Among this, the G4 also has laser autofocus, optical image stabilization, and more. But move over to the iPhone 6 and you'll see Apple's new 8 megapixel iSight camera with what Apple calls autofocus with focus pixels, a backside illumination sensor, auto image stabilization, and more over here too. Now right off the bat, you're probably thinking, hold up Joshua, hold up. I may not know what all of these things do, but the G4 has a 16 megapixel camera and the iPhone 6 only has half of that. It's no contest, right? Well, not exactly. It really depends about what you take and how you're looking at it. Let's just bring it over to the shots to really break it down. Now one of the biggest factors to keep in mind when comparing phone cameras is the atmosphere you'll be shooting in. Many phones on the market vary in low light and often require the perfect setup to get the picture perfect shot you want. And this fact even still remains true with both the G4 and the iPhone 6. But for the purpose of this video, I set out with the two phones and took tons of pictures to get a feel for using the cameras on both. And well, here are the results. Side by side, when looking at photos of the same subject from both cameras, you'll notice they're really not that bad. And that's what I thought at first too, and well, it's true. Now both cameras were created to take photos that look stunning on the phone's displays, and they do, especially on the G4, but that made me take a closer look. I noticed that the G4 has a feature that likes to make every object in the photos seem like it's in focus. Basically making it appear as everything is crisp and clear. Before edit, the details in the photo already seem to pop. It's nice in most instances, but in others seems a little over exaggerated. But when zooming in on photos, that's when the megapixel difference really factors in. On the iPhone, things get grainy quicker than they do on the G4. Bringing it home for the viewers at home, for the average consumer, both phones have what they need to create photos and videos you'll be happy with. And at a time when people don't even print off photos anymore, most of those nitpicking details can't even be found as practical flaws. While both offer comfortable experiences at the end of the day, the G4 feels like it offers a professional experience, while the iPhone feels a little dumbed down. One of the camera's strongest features the G4 has is a manual mode, which makes the phone feel like a DSLR, giving users the ability to configure detailed parts of their camera use, and even the ability to shoot in JPEG and RAW to later throw files into Photoshop, for example. And that's not to downplay the iPhone by any means. When picking up the G4, it can honestly be a little bit daunting to set up your shot, which makes the iPhone the friendlier of choices. For me, the G4 has the better camera, straight up. But I'm still sticking with my iPhone. I guess it's because on the G4, to get good work, it's just gonna take a little work.